So I'm guessing you've just Googled how to use a charge.net rapid charger, probably because you've just bought an EV or you're renting one. This is a part two more in-depth video to show you a few more of the features on the charge.net V-fill rapid charger. So we've covered the two types of plugs. You've got your normal EV plug and then your Chidamo plug on the car. And it's the Chidamo that we'll be using today. On the charger, when you get to it, you'll notice it's got the first light flashing, which is telling you to plug in the car. So all you do is unhitch the cable. And when you go to plug it in, just line it up and then push it quite firmly into the socket. And there's a red light that'll light up to let you know that it's confirmed that it's connected. And then on the front of the machine, you'll now have the option to select 80% or max and you can either use the the easiest way is to use the RFID fobs that are supplied to you when you register at charge.net and they'll send these out to you in the post you simply uh, input your credit card details and they'll automatically charge you once a month for whatever power you use at one of their charges so to use the RFID you just swipe it past the reader and then it's going to give you these options to choose how much charge you want to put in. It's, it comes uh, standard at 80% because that's healthier for the battery, but you can choose max and it'll take it up to 95%. There are four different ways of getting these charges going. So if you've forgotten your RFID, you can use the charge.net website, which you can use from your mobile phone, and you'll be able to go in and activate the charger from there once you're signed in. The third way is plug share and you just get charge.net to link your plug share sign in with your account at charge.net and that way when you check in on plug share which is very easy to do that will also activate the charger and allow you to use it. The last way is via the app, which is not functioning just as yet, but will be soon. Um, and you'll be able to then hopefully see from your phone while you're sitting in a cafe how much charge you've put into the car and whether it's finished. So once you've used one of those four ways of getting the charger operational, you just select whether you want to leave it at 80% or max and just click the start button. So now you'll see that it is charging, the lights are flashing, you can hear the buzzing noise as the charge ramps up and the car's already at 94%. It's going to tell you how many minutes it's charged for, how many kilowatts have gone in and how much you have spent. And it's usually around $8 at the moment if you were charging from near on completely flat. So I hope that helps. If you enjoyed that video, just click like and share on the buttons below. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see something more sp specific. It's, this is produced by Andre and myself. We're brothers. We run Cashback Cars in Mongaray. We're the home of the Nissan Leaf for New Zealand. Um, and we'd be happy to make a video for you if there's something in-depth you'd like to see about the vehicles. Thanks for watching.